Hey, what is up guys? It's JD here from Gamazin, and welcome to episode 2 in my Rain Meter series. If you missed the first one, go ahead and click the little I in the top right corner. This time, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite skins, called Honeycomb. So what is Honeycomb? Honeycomb is a skin for Rain Meter, which allows you to launch programs in a way that is very bright, colorful, and interesting. It does this by giving you a set of customizable hexagons. These hexagons can be nested into groups or spread out across the screen. Unfortunately, Honeycomb can be a little bit confusing, especially for newcomers to Rain Meter. But that's exactly why this video is here, so let's get right into the tutorial. Let's start with actually installing Honeycomb. Download it from the link in the description, and install it by double-clicking and following the installer. Now that we have it installed, we can actually begin setting it up. Open up Rain Meter and click the arrow next to the Honeycomb folder. Let's start with the easiest stuff first. Chrome and Firefox both work without any messing around, so load in whichever one you use. Now, let's see how to make shortcuts for Steam games which icons are included in Honeycomb. Click on the folder of the game you want, and load in the icon. Now open up Steam and go to your library. Right click on the game you want, and click Make Shortcut. Now right click on the shortcut on your desktop, click Properties, and copy that URL. Now, right click on the icon and click Edit Skin. Paste the URL you copied between the codes next to the left mouse action. Now go ahead and do this with all the Steam games that come with Honeycomb that you want to have icons for. Now, let's move on to programs that come with Honeycomb. Load in the icon you want, like we did before. Now go to your Start Menu search bar and enter the name of your program. Right click on it and click Open File Location. Right click on the .exe file and click Properties. Copy the file location in the main tab. Now go and edit the icon like we just did before and paste it in the file location in the same place. Now, let's look at making icons for programs that don't come with Honeycomb. First, go to your Documents folder. Click Rain Meter, then Skins, then Honeycomb. Now click on a random folder and make a copy of it. Now rename the folder to the name of the program you're making the icon for. Do the same for the .ini file inside it. Open it up in Notepad. You do the same process as before to find what you need to put after left mouse action. Now we need to get an image for Honeycomb. There's two methods, one being easier than the other. The first is downloading the Honeycomb icon from the internet. The icon I'm showing here I got off of a Reddit thread, linked down below. So now that we have the icon, go ahead and drop it in the folder we made. Now right click and click Create Shortcut. Right click on the shortcut and copy next to where it says Target. Reopen the .ini file and paste the target next to image name. Make sure to put quotes around it. Now let's make sure it works. Open up Brain Meter and click Refresh All in the bottom left. Click on the folder, then the file. It should load. If there are any problems, post them down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But what if you can't find the icon on the internet? Well. In the Honeycomb folder from earlier, there was a transparent Honeycomb template. Unfortunately, this file is a .psd, which is made to be opened in Photoshop. It's very difficult to make the icon without this file, so if you don't have Photoshop, I would recommend using the first method. If I find a way to do it without, I'll make a video. So go ahead and go to your Documents folder, then Rain Meter. Scroll down to the bottom and open the .psd file. Now we're going to need an icon to go inside the Honeycomb. We're going to be taking one from this awesome icon pack I found online. Link to that is down below. Go ahead and find the icon you want in the pack. It has an absurd amount, so it is very, very likely to have what you want. Drag it into your Photoshop window. Click Ctrl A to select the whole image, and Ctrl C to copy it. Go back over to the icon and paste it in. Move it to the bottom layer and use the magic wand tool to select the honeycomb. Then move the icon back to the top. Click Selection, Inverse, and erase that selection with the Erase tool. Now hit Selection, Deselect. Go to your layers and double click on the color overlay under the shadow layer. Click on the black box next to Blend Mode Normal. A window with your color selection should come up. Move your cursor over the icon and click. It should select the color you clicked. And then move the selector circle over a bit to make the color slightly lighter, and click OK. Congratulations! That's it. You just made an icon. Now follow the steps from above to get it working with launching icons. If the icon pack doesn't have your icon for some reason, just go and find an image online and paint it white with the paint bucket tool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Rain Meter videos to come. This has been JD, and I'm out. Bye!